Hello and welcome. I wanted to share、um, a really good story about how the power of behind-the-scenes storytelling can really help you grow and expand and speak to your target audience in a way that can really help them understand the depth of the value that you provide, as well as ways that you can kind of just just build more community and really speak to. Things that are happening in real time, and so one thing I wanted to talk about here is with behind-the-scenes storytelling, you really have the ability to share, like I said before, real-world experience as well as real-time data versus what may be the common consensus. So, whatever industry or niche you're in, and whoever you serve, there may be thought processes or ideologies or just things or. Even rumors, I guess, if you will, about like what it is that you do and if your product or service actually works.、Um, sometimes people may be sharing their experiences versus what you know the actual experience is. And so, I wanted to share、um, a really good interview that actually turned into an impromptu conversation about crime and safety between Kevin Samuels and Ava from Ava and Preach. Um, and it gave Kevin an idea to hire a videographer to actually film his real-time behind-the-scenes、um, lived experience in order to share how his life is different in the real world versus it being online. So I wanted to share a clip here of that. FBI stats and what they felt like was the worst time for crime and things like that. That's what I consider a time of safety or not. If crime is not at an all-time high or if it's not extremely prevalent, then for me that's. By but, definition, but you also got to but you also got to understand these FBI data stats. They're coming from heavily populated areas. You live in where? Toronto? No, no.、Uh, I live in I live in Montreal at the moment. It's still a heavy populated area. But yeah, right. But, mo but most、okay. of the United States is not that. Right. So, due respect, what happens in New York versus what happens in Oklahoma City are two different things. Okay. And when you have neighborhoods where there's a husband and a father, a husband and a wife,、mm -hmm. there's typically going to be somebody at home to watch the property. When there's more than one child, there's going to be people around. When your neighbors lived, when the Johnsons lived over here and the Jenkins lived over here, people didn't move. You understood who we have a transient society. People are moving. People, most people don't even know who their neighbors to the right, left, and front, and the back are anymore. Versus when I was growing up, people knew everybody on their block, three blocks over. Right. It's hard to come into that area and do crime. Okay. So, so, so my question to you is: Do you feel like things in suburban areas are more dangerous today? Because you, you basically said, you know, the reason why those crime stats were so elevated was because they were. I think、cities. I think that people feel less safe today because they're less connected to other people. Okay, that's fair, and I would agree with you on that point. I agree that people today feel extremely less safe.、Mm -hmm. I just my only question is whether that actually translates into real danger. I'm constantly seeing a lot of fear mongering, which I honestly feel oftentimes is unjustified. You know, it's kind of like when a natural disaster happens, and everyone's、mm -hmm. like, "It's the end of the world." Well, you know what? The earthquake happened in Taipei. I don't know why you care just because it showed up in your Facebook feed. That doesn't necessarily mean that terrible things are coming your way. But I think the way we assimilate information makes us more primed to believe. And then you compound that with the fact that we are disassociated from the people around us. It、right. makes us feel alone, and we only assimilate negative things.、Yep. So I think I think that's the mixture of stuff that I feel like is、mm -hmm. is making us feel more unsafe than we actually are at times. Which, which, and if you round it back to where we started, the、yep. chatter online around me, all this negative da 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 da. When、mm -hmm. I walk out there, if I can actually have a little drone following me, people will be amazed at what happens in the real world, and that's real. What happens、right. online? People can say lots of things, but in the world, how can I walk out in Atlanta and, and where all the hate I'm supposed to have? And、mm -hmm. I should be walking around with security. Versus,、mm. hey man, let me buy you a drink. Let me buy you some coffee, man. You know what? You know what? Jesus gave me an idea. I think I'm gonna have, hire me a cameraman. Have him follow. He just follow you just to show you how how good it is. Yeah. Because because granted, when we are alone. Mm -hmm. When we're we're not attached to anybody, and especially when the when the pen when the when the thing happened, we're all、mm -hmm. attached to these things, and we're、mm -hmm. watching. We don't get outside. So when I had my men in training seminars before coronavirus, the first thing I would tell guys who came in from around the country, learning how to be the best version of themselves, was like, gentlemen, the first thing I would say is life happens outside. Number、mm -hmm. two, life is about people. See,、guess. that's what we really haven't got down to. Men and women are just human beings, people, and we have forgotten how to relate. We have forgotten the value we actually have for one another. 
the practical value it's come down to things that are just wants and desires because we've eliminated the quote unquote need mm. Mm. what happened to uh what happened to uh uh, Preach had to drop out over something, and he okay. couldn't announce it because I think uh, you were in the middle of talking, so he okay. just wanted to slip out quietly. So we so made I the got, adjustment. I got a hold. Uh, give me a, uh, thirty seconds. I'll be right back. Yeah, not an issue. Not an issue. Um, while we wait for Kevin to come back, we're going to be transitioning to other topics. BI stats and what they felt like was the worst. So that's just a really great example of you having a real time conversation in real life and you know things may come up that was not the top of a conversation as if you haven't watched the video i'll link it below um it was a very good insightful interview and so as you can see um you know they were able to talk about something that was you know prevalent it was very timely and it was something that was able to bring a, a, a broader context to you know what they were discussing and it also accomplished um, just I mean behind the scenes storytelling really helps you accomplish the ability to have that opportunity to connect on a deeper level with your audience so you really can talk about things that are on their minds you know get real-time insight um, of course, like if you were using the same similar platform, such as Aubin Preach and Kevin Samuels, what they were utilizing, um, perhaps it was a live stream software where your audience can actually comment in real time and people can actually begin to have conversations in the chat as well as with the, the hosts. Behind the scenes storytelling also affords you the opportunity to show a different side to the story and share how your products or service solve real life problems, i.e. make your clients or customers lives better. And when you're able to go in depth and to answer live questions or provide live feedback, you can actually share um, just actually how these products and services and whatever it is that you do, how it actually looks in, and plays out in real life. And then you also, I mentioned before, have the ability to talk about other important and timely topics, like I had showed in the video earlier, um, that may also add to the value of what your company and brand provides to your clients and customers. So sometimes it's not always about the direct sale or the direct pitch or getting someone to opt into your funnel or to get onto your email list. Sometimes things just like, I just love how Kevin said it, um, things you know real life happens outside so it's not always in a vacuum it's not always just because whatever pretty pictures and images you may be posting on your social feed or posting on your blog or if you are running paid ads um, and you you know hired a um, you know a production company to come in and do big huge you know high production value type content and there's value in all of that it's just only sharing one side of the story. And so sometimes you just come to find out that people will share and people will be more drawn into what you're doing when they can also understand that you are a part of the ecosystem of this thing called life. And it's also nice to see and feel that human side. So we speak a lot about the humanization that behind the scenes storytelling provides your company and brands. Um, and companies and businesses because it really provides that human aspect that we are all having internal conversations we're all in our heads about things we you know there's a lot of nuance out there everything is not as black and white as we may think it is and so being able to share um, that behind the scenes story and kind of give your audience and your clients and customers a, a backstage pass if you will to peek behind the curtain and to be able to share other parts of your story and your journey with them can really help them just how i said before form a deeper bond understand you know how you can really add a value and help them solve problems and then ultimately they'll want to cheer you on towards the finish line And so I'd love it if you want to work with us. You can visit our website at lehmancreativegroup.com if you found this information useful and you have been wanting to work with the professional team to help you carve out better behind the scenes stories. If um, you feel like you have a good grasp on the other aspects of your stories, but you just kind of want to be able to share more of the human aspect and just more of the stuff that you typically don't think there might be value in it, but you might be thinking that, well, maybe we should look at how we can share different aspects and different things of what we got going on and so we invite you to fill out um, our client intake form on our website again it's lamingcreativegroup.com and we will be in touch